What's up, everybody, and welcome to Cloud Gaming X, where we love to game in the cloud with all of you. And I'm Sunny, and I'm bringing you guys a data caps video because an article came out about a day ago shedding some light. And I want to share some info with you guys and give my thoughts in general. And as always, if you guys end up liking this video, please consider hitting that like button and sub to the channel for more Stadia news coverage, as well as game reviews and gameplay videos we're going to be doing in the coming months. But as some of you may know, there is some of us who have a big issue in the coming months and literally when I first heard of Google Stadia from Ace on this channel to say that I was skeptical would be an absolute understatement Ace has been playing on GeForce now ever since I've known him so he's always been a cloud gamer but when news of Stadia first came around my mind the very first thing I thought of was data caps now I thought this service was going to be 100% unrealistic for me and really unrealistic for a lot of people and that is due to unfortunately data caps now obviously Obviously, I've come around since then, but this is still a genuine problem in certain areas in certain countries that have this artificial stupid cap that has been shown there is no technical reason for them to exist and doesn't help the company with bottlenecking in any way, shape, or form. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my data usage. Now, keep in mind, I am a special case because we run a second YouTube channel where we cover Nintendo Switch games, and I cover brand new games every single week as well as gameplay videos and game reviews, so I actually have to download a ton of games weekly as well as my little brother who has the xbox game pass and he downloads his own games on the xbox so looking at my monthly chart it's easy to see i'm gonna have to purchase the unlimited plan and i've already gone over my one terabyte cap just about a month ago and each each 50 gigabytes that I go over, it's 10 bucks added to an already overinflated bill. So I'm going to have no choice but to, to buy that unlimited data caps. Now, if you're not familiar with how much data Stadia is going to use up, it's reported that at 4K 60 FPS, Stadia will use about 15.7 GB an hour, 9 GB for one hour at 1080 60 FPS, which is the resolution that I plan to use uh, when I buy, even with my unlimited data, and at 4.5 GB an hour at 720p 60 fps so according to the data from npd group america's estimated 34 million gamers play on average about 22 hours per week so if any portion of those gamers decide to use stadia stadia and play at 4k for just about 22 hours they would end up using almost close to 1400 gb a month and if we're looking at 1080 and they play at 22 hours we're looking at 800 gb a month now if you guys just saw my one terabyte uh, cap and that is actually on the higher side of the data caps while some only have it as low as 150 for their entire month so keep in mind none of this is accounting for your your hulu your netflix your web surfing none of this is counting any of that this is just gaming at 22 hours now to top it off they did a survey of about 943 gamers and this kind of cracked me up a little bit only 17 percent were certain they had a broadband cap while 21 percent said they weren't sure either way which i find a little bit hilarious i'm wondering did they survey a bunch of kids who don't pay the bills but it's totally possible that people never come close to touching their ta their cap and they don't even know they have a cap and when they get stadia they might get a nasty bill come to Dece december if they end up getting stadia in november which is a good reason we have this channel as to hopefully educate some of you guys whether it's good or bad stuff to realize either way it's going to be interesting to see what happens come December. Now, a Phil Harrison quote that stood out to me a little bit, ISPs have a strong history of staying ahead of the consumer trends, and if you look at the history of data caps in those small number of markets, the trend over time when music streaming and download became popular, especially in the early days when it was not necessarily legitimate, data caps moved up. Then with the evolution of TV and film streaming, data caps moved up, and we expect that will continue to be the case. Now, I love you, Phil, but I'm not so sure. And color me a little skeptical unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to get used to my 50 my new 50 dollar bill come december so stay tuned for our patreon where i'm gonna have a section listed help sunny pay for his monthly data bill cap <laughs> i kid i kid but definitely stay tuned for our patreon the crazy part is there is some markets that don't even have the option to buy unlimited data caps so stadia just isn't going to be accessible for a lot of people i guess the reason that i wanted to make this video is not just because this article really shed any new light but because i'm excited for stadia and i'm bummed out there are so many of us who might not realize the potential of how good this can be due to how greedy these is 
MSPs are. Pretty sure we're being punished because we're not paying for those lame TV packages. So our overly inflated internet bills have these artificial caps in place. And it's just frustrating experience. And just to note, before anyone says that, you can do 720p and that's an option. I feel that kind of defeats the purpose for me personally and call me a little snobby, but I won't be dabbling in 720 for gaming at this point as I'll just stick to my Nintendo Switch. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for me on this video. Man, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. One, I 100% want to know your thoughts in the comments, and I am fully aware that a lot of you are from different countries who don't have this issue whatsoever. You guys don't got to rub it in our faces. We get it. We get it. But there is a good contingent of us who are about to get a wake-up call who don't follow these channels like these or don't have any clue. And I'm curious as to what your guys' thoughts are on data caps and if you think that this is something that's going to be a big detriment to seeing Google Stadia succeed. Let me know down in the comments because I am very curious. But, guys... I'm Sunny. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the cloud in a month. And if you guys like this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up and uh, hit the like button and sub to the channel if you're brand new. And as always, I'm Sunny, and I hope you all have a sunny day.